What's good everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. And today we are getting ready to make some red velvet cake cupcakes with me, AB. And you know what? The theme is Halloween. You just seen the intro. So listen, this is going down with the live that I'm doing today. You guys gotta go by and check out the live with myself and in the kitchen with Elisa. Listen, we're gonna show you guys how to make it, but this is a detailed, you know, instructional video just to show you guys just how easy it is to make. And listen, it's gonna be a little long, but you gotta watch it. For those of you guys that wanna like replicate this and put these out for your Halloween party, or maybe even give these out to your trick-or-treaters, this is it right here. So bear with the video. I'm not gonna over talk it, and we finna get right into it. Boom. All right, we finna go over some of the ingredients we got right here. Listen, starting off with this cake flour right here. Listen, this is soft as silk. This is what I've been using for a minute. I'll put this out right here so you guys can see. Hey, since I've been turned on to that, this is what you wanna do. You wanna get some of that, put it inside of here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna sift it. You just wanna get some of that air in there, make sure there's no clumps. That way it'll be nice and, you know, fluffy and moist, okay? We got butter. Look, this is unsalted butter. And then what you wanna do is you wanna use this 12 tablespoons. So listen, I'm gonna use, that's eight and then half of this one. Then we got our cupcake liners. Over there, you can see our pan. That's our cupcake pan. Then we got sugar. This is regular uh, white granulated uh, sugar. Three eggs. Oh, and let me just say this. This butter here is room temperature. Eggs are at room temperature. Just everything should be at room temperature. Anything that came out of the refrigerator. Look, then you gotta have that dye. Listen, these red velvet cakes. Red velvet uh, cupcakes. So this is a uh, red. This is called Christmas red. Any old red to do. Just a pinch of salt. You got some cocoa. Look, unsweetened cocoa. Baking soda and vanilla extract. Then you got a little vinegar. And this right here, this that con uh, confectioner's uh, sugar. This ain't nothing but powdered sugar. So we got powdered sugar, you got measuring cups. And uh, listen, we gonna go over that. So this is what we gonna have to use right now, minus this, get our cupcakes made. Then we wanna get them, we gonna put them on this, uh, this baker's rack right here, this little cooling rack. And then we gonna let them com uh, cool completely. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and make the uh, buttercream, you know, fro uh, frosting on top. Then we gonna make the fake blood. After the fake blood, then I'm gonna make that uh, that glass. That's what's gonna make it. Hey, just stay tuned. We finna get it and it's finna go down. Okay, what you wanna do is you wanna get your muffin pan, cupcake pan, whatever you wanna call it. Go ahead and get your, your liners. And what we gonna do is we just gonna go ahead and just insert these in each one of these. And then we gonna move over to the next step. The next step is, listen, all we're going to do is we're going to take a little cooking spray and we're going to spray a little bit inside of here just so that it doesn't, uh, you know, stick. Make it a little bit easier to peel them. Now, once this is done, you want to go ahead, get your little pan, or whatever your cooking spray is. Just give it a little spray. You'll thank me at the end. Now, we're going to go ahead, preheat the oven to 350 degrees, and now we're going to start making our uh, cupcake mix. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this off. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and put the sugar inside. Then we're gonna add our butter. Now we're only gonna use just a, a half of this. So what we'll do is we'll just open it up. I'll go ahead and just take my spatula. That'll look about right. We'll just put it like that. Now, we're gonna put this on about medium. Let's lock it. Put this on about medium, about number six. We'll start off slow though, so it doesn't blow nothing out. Now we'll use it up to six. Now about halfway through, you wanna go ahead, use your spatula and get everything off of the, the sides. That way if you had any sugar that didn't get Mixed up, you just get it off the side, work it back towards the middle, lock it back, and bring it back up. Now, if you look at it here, look, it's nice and fluffy. It takes about five minutes. Five minutes of using one of these KitchenAid mixers, you know, putting it on six, about five minutes. And then listen, this is what it should look like. You know, nice and fluffy. Every, all the ingredients, you know, the butter and uh, sugar is all, you know, mixed properly. Now we're gonna move over to the next part. Okay, so the next part, 
Listen, we're gonna take, we're gonna add our eggs. We got three eggs. We want, they're already at room temperature, but here's the thing. A lot of you guys have told me, hey, listen, you're supposed to crack your egg, you know, and then make sure nothing wrong with the egg, and then you put it in there. So, opening my egg, cracking my egg now. As you can see, nothing wrong with the egg. We'll put that in. We're gonna add them one at a time. We put one egg in, bring this down, lock it, and then we start off slow. We go ahead and let that mix up. We want to get the egg thoroughly, you know, mixed into our butter and sugar. So we bring it back, ease it back on up. I got it at four right now. Now we put it back at six and we'll just let it work around just for a hot second. Maybe I'll go back to four. You just want to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. This should take about, you know, about 30 to 30 seconds to a minute. Egg number three. That's perfect. This is the texture that you go, you guys are gonna be looking for. You know, real easy. Hey, good project to put together. You know, you know, it's the Halloween time. You know, you can work with your kids if you got young ones. Hey, even work with your spouse. You know, just to put something together. Now we're getting ready to move over to the next step. Hey, so you know what? I went ahead and changed my dye. I went with just McCormick's food color, you know, red. You know what, that dye that I use is like super thick. As you can see, got on my fingers. Somehow I got on this hand, so look, I can see all the jokes coming inside of the, uh, I know in the comment section or whatever, I know it's gonna be going down, but anyway, this is what we're gonna be using. I'm gonna get two tablespoons out of here, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the vanilla extract and then the cocoa powder. Okay. Now we'll come back with the vanilla extract and then the cocoa, the unsweetened cocoa. Now we're just gonna whisk it together. Now we got it mixed together thoroughly. We're gonna go ahead, lift this up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pour this inside. Now we're gonna close this and we're gonna mix this thoroughly. Lock it, start off slow, let it move around. And again, you know, we got this dye on here. You don't wanna like turn your mixer up too high. You know what I mean? Then you'll get that splatter all over the place. So then we'll just ease it up. We just wanna make sure it's mixed. You wanna do this for maybe about, maybe about a minute. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and get my spatula, come around, rub all the edges, scrape them all, make sure it's all mixed up, and then we go from there. You can see the color right there. You know, that's what we're looking for. Once we add that, uh, that softest silk, that's gonna do it, folks. Looking good. Look at that color. That's it, it's ready. Now we're getting ready to move over to the next, move on to the next step. Now, the one thing that I didn't have in the very beginning, and I didn't show you guys that was the buttermilk. But don't forget, down in the description box below, I'm gonna have the full ingredient list down there. But I want I kept this inside of the refrigerator because listen, it's buttermilk. I like to keep this cold, you know, as long as possible. So I'm getting ready to measure out myself, you know, a cup and a half. So we'll be going to right here. Now that we got a cup and a half, you remember the salt in the beginning, which is just like a little pinch. Go ahead and just add it here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just put one cup here. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna take it and just hit it off to the side like this, and we'll just sift it. You can see it's coming down. This is ensuring we don't have any lumps here at the very, very start, and it puts a little air in there. This is what's gonna help it to be, you know, a little fluff, be fluffy. Now, this is how we're gonna do it. We got our buttermilk, the salt mixing in that, and then we already sifted through our cake mix. So what we're gonna do is lock it. We're gonna turn this on and we're gonna start in increments. We're gonna start with flour, about a third of this, and then we're gonna come with about a, a third of this buttermilk. Then we're gonna go back third, 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 third. You know what I'm gonna say, just a little bit, and we're gonna end with the flour. All right, so we're gonna start like this.
You want to start slow, just let it mix. Now we're going to come with a little bit of this buttermilk. Let that mix up. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit them sides. Now the reason you're going to want to scrape the sides of the bowls, as you can see, you can see some of that cake flour on there. You just want to get it so that it'll mix thoroughly. Next, you want to go ahead and get yourself your baking soda and then get your vinegar and then you want to mix it together in a bowl by itself. And then right here, you'll be able to see what happens. Oh, look at that. Talking about a chemical reaction, but we're just going to whisk it together. Lock this, put this in like this and we'll just add it. Now we just want to fill this up about halfway. Now I'm gonna say about three quarters of the way up. So what I'm using right now is like a, uh, a tablespoon. Now okay, this part right here is kind of important. Listen, you wanna put the same amount in each one of your cupcake, you know, your cupcake sleeves. The reason being, listen, if you put more and less than others, you're gonna have a, what you call, what I would call just, they will be, I guess the word I'm looking for is they won't be uniform, you know? You want them all to be the same size, you know, something easy to work with, and they look, you know, they, they just look good. Now, we already preheated our oven to 350 degrees, so now we'll just go ahead, and then we'll put it in the oven. Now, we put it in the oven for 18 minutes at 350 degrees, and that's what we come up with right there. As you can see, you can see different sizes, but that's still pretty much uniform. Now we're gonna go ahead and start our buttercream frosting. And we're gonna start off by just showing you, you know, the powdered sugar, putting it right into the uh, mixing bowl and starting the sifting process. Now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and move over to the next step. You wanna get yourself a pinch of salt. Listen, anytime you're cooking with a bunch of sweets like this, you know, you just always wanna add just a pinch. So there it is right there. All right, now we'll go ahead, open up this butter. Remember, everything is at room temperature. We're gonna leave it around, you know, somewhere maybe low, maybe a medium low. We just want this to be nice and smooth. Okay, you can see, look, it's nice and smooth. What I'm gonna do now is run this spatula along the edge. We're gonna get some of that powdered sugar off of here. Now, once we got, the, you know, the, the, uh, the side of the bowl scraped, and you got everything mixed and put back in the middle then turn your mixer back on don't forget don't turn it on high because you don't want to you know make everything you know shoot out and then what we want to do is after we ran it for about a minute then you want to go ahead and start adding your milk as you just saw and then when you put it you want to kind of like get back to the uh to about the the number six on the kitchen egg which is like a, a medium fast you know setting okay so now we're gonna go ahead and start working with our little piping bag and our piping tip. All you gotta do is get yourself a cup as you see right there. And then you know what, that's the pro tip y'all, it's the cup. It helps stand it up, it makes it just easier filling it. Once you filled it, go ahead, just do exactly as you see that right there. Just fold it up, nothing to overthink right here. Take yourself some kitchen scissors, uh, scissors and just go ahead and go around the end and you just wanna cut it. Once you uh, cut the tip, now it's time to go ahead and you know, you can go ahead and start frosting the top. And don't forget, your cupcakes gotta be cold. You know what I mean? So I let mine cool overnight. That way when I add my buttercream frosting on the top, it won't slide off. So now what you're seeing is just putting it on. I don't have no real technique for that like that. You know, I don't bake enough, but I can just tell you, just make a round circle, do whatever. Cause listen, when we finish these off, nobody's gonna know. Now you wanna go ahead and get yourself a pan because we're getting ready to make ourselves some candy glass. Now, you got your corn syrup, which is two thirds the cup. Then you got three quarter cup water, and then you got two cups of granulated uh, white sugar. Real simple, in your pan, listen, you wanna spray it. Make sure you spray it with some type of, uh, you know, cooking oil or something like that. Now, we move over to the stove. Now that we on the stove, you wanna go ahead. I set it up, you just saw right now, for like a medium heat, just to get started. So, I put the water in, then I'm coming, you know, with the two cups of uh, granulated white sugar. And then right here, that's that corn syrup. Listen, make sure you, you get yourself a, a, a spatula that'll fit inside your Pyrex. Reason being, if it calls for whatever the, uh, the uh, measurement is, you want to make sure you get it all out. Just so that it'll be correct. Now, you want to get yourself a whisk 
and you want to just whisk it back and forth and keep it going now i turned up my heat now i'm somewhere right around medium high you know we want to get it to a boil and listen that's a key you want to stay with your heat you don't want to go too high where it'll boil over and the main thing is you want to get this to 300 degrees you got to get some kind of they sell a candy uh thermometer but i'm using my meat thermometer and that reads just fine but it took about like seven minutes to get it up to 300 degrees and after it got thick look at that right there you can just see the thickness as i pour it pouring it on that pan that was already pre you know pre-sprayed all you gotta do is pour it there and you can see the bubbles they quickly dissipate now you want to let it cool rest for three hours after three hours this is what it looks like right here now just pick it up drop it on your counter pick it up drop you know just until you can get what you're looking for i didn't want to like slam it down so i decided to go ahead and get a butter knife and use the back end of the butter knife just to tap it and as you see when i tap it it shatters just like uh, glass and then you just want to get the shards that you want to make your cupcakes yours now after you keep doing that you see i just use it just to break you know get it up if the pieces are big i use my finger you know just to get them you know just to break them down so they a little bit more manageable and they look good you know so i'm looking for like sharp edges oh and let me just say this hey listen it is sharp just like glass you know it's not sharp as glass won't cut you i didn't cut myself but i just want to make sure you guys know that hey there are some sharp points on that now go ahead get your cupcake now i had mine in the refrigerator after i went ahead and hit it with the uh with the icing you know i just set it in there just so nothing melts you know it is you know a butter cream and then decorate it however you want to this part really is up to you you know you make it your own you do whatever you want to do you know to just give it your own signature and that's what you have right there now this is the blood right here only three ingredients you got chocolate syrup you got corn syrup and then you got you know a few a few drops of red dye super simple i didn't want to add that to the video because you can't get that wrong but don't forget it'll be down in the description box below now this is all you got to do i use a spoon you can use whatever technique you want to to get it on there you know i started out small because i didn't want to put too much on there and let me just say this you saw earlier that stuff that dye will get on your hands listen it will stain so i put it on this plate right here got it away from my cutting board you know and i just went ahead and hit it like this now after using just a little bit i started getting a little bit more courage you can see and now i'm starting to put a little bit more on the spoon and just decorating the uh, cupcakes like they should be but if you look at that plate right there you look at how when it drips down on that plate tell me that don't look like blood i want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below if you rang someone doorbell and they gave you these would you eat them so tell me what you guys think about this one here i know it's a bit long but listen for those of you that really want to know how to make these you know what this is a video guide that you can follow and you can see step by step just what yours should look like you know instead of just watching some of these videos telling you what to do that's almost like reading the recipe but this right here it shows you each stage and then you'll come up with these same results now don't forget to let me know down in the comment section below if somebody gave you these for halloween would you take them and eat them or would you go with that whole ah they might have put something in it hey anyway listen if you're new to my channel let me go ahead and take this time to say hey thank you for watching like this video and let me know down in the comment section below if you like these theme videos like this so don't forget to subscribe like and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and with that being said you guys i'm out of here peace